Hey guys, welcome to the second Luna Tries. Uh, we're gonna go into the Game Boy Advance tier again and uh, pick three more games here. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be Metroid Fusion for the first one here. Metroid Four. That's what it said, anyways. All right, so starting now, I got the thirty minutes going. I've never played a Metroid game before, so I guess we're starting in a fusion. SR388. I think that's what it said. SR388 was kind of hard to read. I was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only that I learned that the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X, or my condition, I was returning to the station when a disaster struck. Once X had infested my central nervous system, I had lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. It's almost like the beginning of a Pikmin game where you're getting a crash in an asteroid. Nintendo seems to like their asteroids. Hey, my hair's a mess. Ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact by vessels recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. Hmm. Yeah. And then X multiplied within me in large areas of my power suit. He realized that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with the system, it could not be removed while I was unconscious. The portion of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, X and my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely and minimal chance of survival. And someone found a cure. A Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. Apparently injected without delay. And most of this is just going to be watching it. There they go. And yet I survived reborn. Something different. I realize twice over. We should be arriving at the BSL research station. Oh, but Samus is scared. Second time I found myself having to do so. Perfect fit. Jeez. All right. Three D. It was three D.
Sure. All right. It's wasting energy or anything. now at the field team Thinking hatches, okay. Oh, it's a little saver. Nice. Here. Okay, into the navigation room. I thought it was a ladder. Increase, nice. Always useful. Ah, okay. This is 
save room up here. We'll go through there. Save some data. Make sure. It sounds like I'm going to be fighting a boss. Ow. Oh gosh. Whoops, didn't do so good. Come on, jump, bro. Wasn't she jumping? I was hitting the jump button. I don't understand why she wasn't jumping. She just kept pointing up, pointing up, pointing up, pointing up. Yeah. If she jump when you hit the jump button, that'd be great. She just stands there. And I, if you hit it at the same time, sometimes she just refuses to like jump. It's annoying. Come on, jump. Okay, should have just automatically turn. Okay. I got shoot twice. Oops.
Oh, what's in here? Okay, good to know. Um, I'm going to the right this room, maybe. Earlier explosion, yeah, probably. Can I go back? Okay, so the elevator's over there. Come on, get out of the. There we go. Well, that looks like me. Nice. what they look like or show me or anything. I don't really want to charge, but okay. Not that. Okay. Line four units remaining. Okay, so this is what they look like. So what's up here? That's how you get it. Okay. Oh shit. I'm gonna go straight across though. There's 30 minutes, so on to the next one. My thoughts on uh, Metroid Fusion. Um, I thought it was a fairly good game. It was a little frustrating that sometimes you just wouldn't jump, but I noticed that that was an issue across these three different games. So I don't know if it's just an issue with Switch emulation in general. Um, otherwise, I thought it was a pretty good start to the series, at least. It, it was intriguing and actually kind of made me go back and play some more of it. But yeah, I just never really played Metroid before, so I don't really have too much on the lore. But yeah, I would recommend. Kuru 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 and kuru kuru 
Kurugrin. Can't say that correctly. It's gonna be the next game here. I don't know a thing about this one at all. Alright, starting now. Ooh, easy because I have no idea. Another world. Teach here, teach everything. Sure, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I should be right, trust me. Okay. Touch the walls, right? Stem out a lot of correct timing. Interesting. Man, my hair really is a fucking mess. Okay. Nice. Okay. So it's a little bit like Operation. <laughs> oh, I'm just kind of hitting A really quick, Dane. So. Oh, crap. There we go. Just power my way through. <laughs> oh, now we're in the ocean. Whoops. Oh, I thought I could sneak through there. horn you can do. The question is, can I beat this in 30 minutes? I guess. Oh, man. My first death. The question is, can I beat this in 30 minutes? Or this one's kind of a long one. Oh, there we go. Okay, they can get along now. I don't know if that was exactly worth it. Nice. Kind of a cute game. Definitely very Japanese, though. Shoot. Power my way there. Dang it. Not doing so good now. I was doing perfect, so now I'm just not. There we go. I even got the little birdie guy. Kick land. Oh, I thought I could rush it. Nice. I can definitely see some people like really grinding these out trying to get the lowest times. Nice. 
Nice. Whoops. Second death. The question is, can I beat this in 30 minutes? That was just me being stupid. I didn't mean to touch the wall like that. Oh crap, I didn't want to hit that, did I? This one's tricky. I hit both the spring and the wall at the same time, apparently. Oh, okay. Whew. Finally got through that one. That took a second. Came really, really, really close. right there too i can see it i don't know how to get to it oh change the color all the way to the right down and around heart down down oh i should have gone down so we get orange jello guy Shit. there we go and i got the guy cave oh you hold on both you go even faster oh shit oh my gosh that's too much power holy crap i knew about the one oh crap missed time that a little bit no uh, I got impatient. Shit. Man, I did so well the one time. Oh, my camera don't die. There we go. Oh, I didn't even see that there. I'm in spring hell. Oh, God. <laughs> Thing got absolutely roast. I don't even care. I don't even care. All right, we made it. Absolutely made it. I'm gonna give this a couple uh, more levels, I think, and I'll call it there. That's one way of doing it, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. All right, one more completed level. Or timer run out. One the other, because almost time anyways. Cloudland. Dang. Nice. And that's the last level right there because the sandwich is just about to go. But we'll move on to the next game. So my thoughts on Kuru Kuru Kuri is it would be a fun game to kind of optimize. I can see some people really getting into it. Um, it's definitely one of the shorter games it feels like. I feel like I might have came pretty close to the halfway point if not really close to the ending. But it's definitely a game that it's easy to pick up, do a few levels, put it back down. So it'd probably be pretty fun, especially in uh, more idle situations. But I would definitely recommend. So we're going to end off on a Kirby game today. Uh, so we'll get this in here and I'll get the 30 minutes started here just all right, Kirby's Amazing Mirror. Oh, it's got multiplayer. And we're starting now. Nope. Midnight right away. There we go. There we go, sir. Oh, I think this game is really geared towards multiplayer, which I don't have two people, so I'm, uh... Batteries hold L to start over. Okay. Got wrecked.
Oh, no, I can't fit in. <laughs> oh, clearly it's not the, it's the circle part. What up, nice. Uh, let's go to the top one, I guess. I don't know what the point of that was. Oh, batteries on the phone. God, I didn't realize that phone had batteries. I thought I was talking about like my Game Boy batteries or something, of which I'm no longer playing on Game Boy, so it wouldn't have mattered. Come on, go up. I guess one's just all on. Nice. There we go. Absolutely cheesed. I didn't know what he did to me. I just wrecked him. Do I have to become him, maybe? Oh, I see. I didn't even see that before. Come on, jump. Weird. I'm playing replaying the level I've already beat because I accidentally went back. Man, it's really easy to get it knocked out of you in the stone. Come on, jump. And there he goes. Will you fly, bro? How many times do I have to hit the up before you fly? Why, bro? How many, how many freaking times do I hit it up? First time I'm missing out a secret over there. This is a boss. I will be here in a minute.
There we go. We called some help. <laughs> Made a very short work of him. And that's just Wispy Woods, but Stone Virgin, I guess. I know a little bit about Kirby games. I've played enough of them. I've never played this one. This one's... Oh, crap. How do I exit out? How do I exit back out? I don't know how to exit back out. Maybe I've had died just three times. Jump, bro! This one's very unresponsive, and I have no idea why. For whatever reason, just does not want to jump. What's in the air? Fine, but it's like, when they're on the ground, he does not want to... There we go. Come on, jump! Um, I'm just supposing there's more to do over here. Thanks for not jumping, bro. Come on! Jeez, OP. When he's landed, he will not jump for nothing. One micro touch and you lose a man. This game is like, it's getting brutal. Stop sliding off. Jeez, wait, I don't know why some of these doors are glowing. Fly, bro. Fly, bro! Oh my god! <laughs> Will you fly? I'm hitting up. I don't know how much more up I can hit. I did not mean to do that. That's okay. Then go through and wreck everything for me. Fly! What the hell is this? Jump! I don't know how much more up I can hit. I don't know if... This game is just not built with a directional stick at all. Or if the Switch's interpretation of what a directional stick works is terrible. But man, he does not want to jump for nothing. I could not be hitting more up. Even the D-pad doesn't want to work for it. I somehow switched the controls now. Now A's jump. I don't know, man. I should get double sword now. Oh, okay. Nice. I have no idea what I'm doing. I keep going back through levels. I don't know what progresses and what doesn't. I'm so confused by this game. like I didn't quite get to that one in time I guess oh come on will you kill him first try please there we go can't do anything about those okay did I just soft lock myself no I, I can see. no all right well that is 30 minutes either way so that was all three games uh that last one was very frustrating because he would not jump I don't know if that's just the switch version 
being silly, but uh, yeah, I'll get my thoughts on the uh, post credits like I did last. See you on the next one. So my thoughts on the Kirby game are that assuming that the jumping problem was a Switch issue or I'm just an idiot. That uh, wasn't a bad game. It's nice as a little bit of a maze and that levels kind of seemed to more interconnect, though it was a little confusing. And it's definitely geared towards multiplayer. So unless you have multiple people playing, I, I'm not sure I'd recommend it necessarily. But yeah, it was pretty fun. I would recommend it for multiplayer, but I'm not sure I'd recommend a single player experience. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below. Check out other playthroughs I did both solo and with others. And remember to keep enjoying life. I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.